Hey guys, Clarin King here. I'm going to show you today how to install a Jandy IQ pump. It uh, is a cool device that gives you app control of any Jandy pump. It's a very simple process, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I like to do is mount the box to the wall so that way we can trim the slack properly when we go to install it in the back of the pump. I like to install this device as high as possible within reach of course. Uh, it has an easier time grabbing the internet when it's mounted higher than if it were lower. And then also, ideally it's nice to mount it uh, next to a window to heighten your chance of grabbing the internet from inside the house. So what we'll go ahead and do is just mount it right here. And then obviously get a level to make sure it looks clean and not crooked. Once we got it nice and level, we'll go ahead and make our marks. And then get ready for drilling. Alright, now that we got the holes drilled, we're going to go ahead and drill and uh, secure this box to the wall. And it's always a good idea when you first start this to uh, not tighten everything complete. And then go ahead and button it up. So now it's mounted to the wall nice and straight and secure. So now I'm going to run the com wire over to the pump and uh, zip tie it up and make it all look pretty. Alright guys, you can see we got a lot of extra slack here, so I'm going to go ahead and do is trim some of it. So what I like to do is leave, you know, a little slack in case you need to redo something. I'll go ahead and cut it, and then now we're going to go ahead and cut this back. Cut it back a good inch, inch and a half or so, and that will expose the four wires that we need to, to use. And then you see here we got a red, black, yellow, and green. So let me show you the proper way and which way to hook it up. So we're hooking up the comm wire to this red plug here. And so you go ahead and pull that out. And there's a certain, you got to put the certain color wires in certain terminals. So from left to right, we do red, black, yellow, green. And there's an acronym I like to use uh, to help me remember this. Real Big Yellow Gorillas. So I'll go ahead and strip, strip the wires back and get it plugged in here to the terminal. Now you really only need a good quarter of an inch of the wire exposed uh, before you plug in the, into the uh, plug. You don't want to have too much exposed because you don't want these things touching or anything. Even those low voltage, you just want to make sure there's not um, a lot of extra wire sticking out. And you also want to make sure you trim it back far enough to where you don't have insulation underneath the connection. So we have the wire strips, and now we're going to go ahead and connect them to the plug. Now remember, red, black, yellow, green. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. And it's okay to make it nice and snug. Don't crank down on it. Just double check the wires, make sure none of them come out, and you just plug it right in. And that's how you wire this up, the IQ pump, to the back of the Janney pump. And then the last thing you need to pay attention to is the dip switches. So you're going to have pumps that either have four, a four dip switch panel or five dip switch panel. This is a five dip switch panel. So the, the combination for a five dip switch panel is one and two are on, three and four are off, and five is on. If it was a four dip switch panel, you'd have one and two on and three and four off. So that's how you uh, make that work properly. It might be hard to see in this uh, angle, this is the highest thing on my tripod. Uh, when we click the power onto the pump, we should see the auto light light up. If not, we wired something improperly in the back of the pump. 
See that light come on? So we know that we wired it properly and that's why that dip switch uh, sequence is so important along with getting the wires in the correct slots. So that's it guys, that's how you install and hook up a IQ pump for the Janney Variable Speed Pumps. Uh, stay tuned for my next video where I show you how to program the IQ pump. As always, like and subscribe and have a great day. And don't forget to check out my friend Robert's YouTube channel, Clean Pool and Spa. Full of great information will surely help you take care of your pool. Link is below in the description.